So here we have an American chestnut. This is a tree that we planted, uh, uh, one of a dozen trees that we planted, which is not a hybrid. It's actually um, from surviving fertile nuts from, uh, from trees that seem to have some resistance to uh, the American chestnut blight, which was a disease that took out most and pretty much eliminated, exterminated the chestnut species. Uh, since that time, the American chestnut, which used to be a substantial uh, tree, uh, not only for food, but, for, but uh, one of the main cannabis trees in, in the mountains, uh, slowly disappeared because this introduced uh, blight, this, uh, this fungus, uh, came in and it kills the tree after it gets to a certain size. Uh, American chestnuts were an important timber as well as food type of plant and a big role, of course, in the environment itself. But uh, they had no resistance to this chestnut blight, which was probably introduced on one of the non-native chestnut trees, uh, Chinese or Spanish, and had no resistance and then died off. So they get to a certain size and then die. And uh, they'll re-sprout from the old things constantly, but, um, but they never can get more, you know, 20-foot tree is, is a decent size one. Um, and usually they don't produce any viable fruit, just don't get old enough or big enough. Uh, but this case, this tree's parents did, and so we planted it. It's here in an area, uh, one of a dozen that we were given along with City of Alexandria and so we've been watching them and this one seems to be doing very very well. Um, whether it'll escape the blight, whether it's uh, natural resistance to it, uh, I don't know. That is one of the reasons we planted it in order to experiment with this. Um, having said that, there is uh, uh, some movements, including through American Chestnut Foundation, to produce hybrid ones, backcrossing them to get uh, chestnuts which are resistant to this fungus. But this is one that may be naturally tolerant. If that's the case, what a wonderful thing it would be to be able to get one of these. And this is what we're trying to do. We're experimenting along with Alexandria and a few other places. The plants given to us by Earth Sangha. And lo and behold, this little tree now seems to be holding its own. And we'll see in the future if it survives or not. But what a wonderful story in the chapter of trying to resurgence of what for a lot of practical purposes an extinct species, the American chestnut, what was a dominant and extremely important tree in, um, in the East Coast. American chestnut, uh, a beautiful tree that once was an important canopy and timber tree, important for food as well, and has disappeared. Its toothed leaves, you can sometimes find sprouts coming up all over it, the native woodlands because it just dies back to the roots and then tries to suck it back up. But here is one that was produced from fertile fruits and we hope is resistant. American chestnut tree.